Hey everybody, I'm Matt, Client Success Manager for White House Custom Color, and we are sitting in beautiful Jackson Hole, Wyoming today at Flo McCall's Photography Studio. So thank you so much for having us. We really enjoyed our time here with you. So we want to talk kind of briefly here about the first redesign and the second redesign. Um, that we were fortunate enough to work with you on. And for those of you that are just joining us, um, White House is out here with you for a few days in 2019, painting, the wall got put in, new artwork got put up, clutter went away, you know, all the things. Um, sales went up dramatically um, after that time. So it's been fun to see you progress through business, but let's just kind of take a virtual walk around here. We're not actually gonna get up and move, but we'll walk around the space. So when you first come in your door um, on our original, design, we had talked about, we need a spot for um, a lot of different products for seniors. Remember that discussion? So we took many different sessions, built them into many different products and put them on that wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did that work or did that not work? Did not work. Okay. Why didn't it work? I'm just curious. Um, I think it just, it just didn't um, come together as a collection. It was like, oh, we'll just put one random picture here and another random here. And I thought that I was trying to show like all different everything so people had choices. Well, that was the problem. It was all different everything. And basically people would go to that wall and they're like, what's the size of an 11 by 14? And that was it. And it, so it just didn't, it didn't suggest, it didn't inspire, it didn't, they'd be like, oh, that's a nice picture, yep. but it didn't, it didn't do what it was supposed to be doing. Yep. So for those of you that we have talked with before that are considering a redesign, that's a question that comes up 100% of the time. Do I take a wall grouping and do I make it up of multiple sessions or do I do it from one? And the answer is, no. One. Oh, one. It's Sorry. one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not multiple sessions because people don't understand that you could take that and make it a grouping. It's just it's just pretty pictures at that point. So the new uh, design in that spot is from a, a beautiful family session that mm -hmm. you did. Um, acrylics. Yeah. One float frame, the rest not. Four pieces, all from the same grouping. Awesome. Yeah. So it it fills that void. So if we move down the wall. The next space was, if I remember, it was uh, two beautiful dance images or four. Was it four um, on standout? Mm -hmm. Did that work or did that not work? It did not work. Um, people do not buy standouts. Um, I use standouts for one thing only, and that's a commercial display in doctor's offices. Okay. So I couldn't push that product. I didn't feel that it was what my clients needed. And they were kind of odd sizes, and it wasn't like a family, it wasn't really anything. It right. was just pretty pictures. Right, right. And so I didn't, it didn't suggest anything. Yep, so now what you have there um, is a 4060 uh, white base, high gloss metal of a beautiful model that you photographed. And that particular image is in the studio mm -hmm. where you're really known for outside. Correct. Yes. So that really fills some some voids in there too. Like this is, you know, I, I do photograph inside headshots, models, product, mm -hmm. all those things. Plus it's an example of a 4060 metal. Yeah. So again, taking a space that wasn't successful, understanding that mm -hmm. and replacing it. With a product, people love metals mm -hmm. and it'll look beautiful in a contemporary house and to not feel scared by a bigger piece of a close-up picture, which I love close-up faces. Yeah, so. for sure. So if we move down the wall, um, and, and we had these fun names for all these groupings originally, um, so where we had what we called Vineyard Vines, um, and that was a three-piece grouping framed um, that, that was replaced now with a single 4060 acrylic piece. Mm -hmm. And ever since we launched the acrylics, correct me if I'm wrong, but those have been very popular with yes. your clients. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that particular image, and I can see it right over your shoulder right now, um, amazing outdoor winter, because you're in Jackson, mm -hmm. image um, of a family. So what has that done or what will that do to, to make that more successful for that space? Um, well, first off, it's less confusing. It's one stunning image of a beautiful family in front of the mountains and it's clean, it's contemporary, and again, suggesting that you can put a beautiful big piece on your wall yep. and how it can work and how clean it is, and it doesn't need to match your interior because it, there's no frame. Yeah. So it's um, just, it's just suggesting. Yes, for sure. So the next one I think is one of the most fun to talk about, the next space, because 
I personally can remember in 2019 working on the design and because everybody needs a whopper. I think we all agree that you need to have a whopper, you know, in your studio. So that was your whopper. Mm -hmm. And it was like 10 pieces. Mm -hmm. It was big. Um, and it looked amazing when it was done. Um, but what was the reaction to even your high-end clientele? What was the reaction to that? I think it was just too many pieces. Okay. And um, I think that you know, people love, I mean, definitely my high end clients likes to put big pictures, but I think there was just too much going on. Okay. And so that we both learned to kind of scale it down a little bit. Still big pieces, but not make it too confusing. Right, so large pieces, but fewer of them right. rather than 10. Yeah. Um, and again, you know, that just makes your sales experience that much more efficient. Right. Because you're not having to select eight, 10, 12, right. 14 images to go on the wall and trying to design them. So, and what's behind you about the couch, that's still a big grouping. Mm -hmm. It's just not as busy. Right. Um, so for those of you listening along, um, I just want to recap that it's important, you know, if you go through a redesign process, watch your numbers, listen to your clients. You know, if, if you're having success with one particular thing, keep that going, keep pushing that. If it's not working, replace it. Right. You don't have to be married to any particular thing. Um, so above your desk, so there's been a couple different versions of that. Now that you were just saying to me there was a design in that that had two kind of um, opposing metal prints and then some frame prints around it. Mm -hmm. And that really sold. It did. For you. The, yeah. the family never ordered, but it sold. Yeah. So yeah, the, the family never bought it, but everybody <laughs> else did. Right. Um, so then you went through that grouping and had success with that. And then um, you decided you wanted to change that out at a certain point. And that was like in 2020, mm -hmm. I would guess, or 2021. Um, and you went to a different style of exactly the same size, matted framed, and did that work for you? Not at all. No one, I think out of the year and a half that I had it, someone asked about it and one family said, oh, we wanna do our next thing like that. But okay. that was it. Okay, so um, I think in you know, this discussion, it's really important to note that you know, different parts of the country, different styles, Yeah. Um, you know, Things are going to be popular and things are maybe not going to be popular. I do also think, and you can definitely jump in on this, you sell what you love. Yeah. So if you love metal prints, if you love acrylic prints, if you loved, um, you know, float frames, you know, all those things, that is what you'll sell because it'll be the first thing that you suggest because it's easy. We're all really good at selling or doing things that come easy to us. Mm -hmm. um, and it deep down that may not have been your favorite thing, mm -hmm. you know, the man. That, that's true. I don't think it was. Um, well, I did learn on a webinar that you guys showed um, a couple, gosh, I don't even know, sell what you have at your home, what you love. And so I realized that the things in my studio were not what I had at my home. So I went home and I was like, oh, okay, bring it all in. So I redesigned with two um, displays here that I had at my home. Yep. And then I felt more confident and good. I was like, I love this. I want other people to have it. Right. And that's such a personal approach, too, because then you can say, oh, this is what I do at my house. Exactly. Yeah. So before we move on to that one, let's talk about what you currently have above your desk, because that was very well thought out. Mm -hmm. So you have above your desk now a metal float frame, a deep matte photo float frame, mm -hmm. an acrylic float frame, and a canvas. Correct. Okay, what, why? Why did you do that? Okay, so we did say that this is, um, that we should have really the same pictures all from one shoot in a display. This display for me is to show my four favorite products um, to my clients where they just look over my shoulder. So they go, well, what about this? What about this? Instead of them having to cross the room, they can see all four of them compared next to each other. So it is like a theme of all seniors um, but it's saying they're all the same size and this is what they look like. And I know it's gonna be extremely helpful. So it's not necessarily a sales tool to sell as a collection, but more a sales tool to say, here are the four different things. What do you like? What do I like? Right, exactly, and so easy. And, so easy. and what I love about that and the reason it is going to be successful, or one of the reasons I should say, is because you believe in it. You can tell how you talk about right. it. You believe that that is really going to be a great solution for right. you. Yeah. Um, and in your original school of thought from 2019 of I don't want my client to have to move, 
Mm -hmm. Perfect. Do you like A, B, C, or D? Right. Okay. All of them happen to be in a float frame, right. by the way. Right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I did want to say something about um, framing and finishing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do like canvas straps collections without any framing, but um, I definitely did some recon and went to all the museums in New York City and looked at how they're displaying art, because ultimately I want to display my pieces as art, like something beautiful for people to stop and look at. And all the museums have float frames clean, simple float frames at the Whitney, at the MoMA, everything. So I was like, I don't need the big, thick frames anymore for my clientele. Yeah. So that was one thing that was really important. So that's why I pretty much stayed with a float frame or a thin black gallery frame. Yep, something very simple. And we kind of bantered on that in 2019 because I had a different idea in my mind. Of, I hadn't been to Jackson before, but I kind of had an idea of you know, how the, the homes would be kind of lodgy style and dark, right. warm colors and stuff like that. And I couldn't have been more wrong. Right. And you corrected me on that. And now I see exactly, you know, it's much more modern. Mm -hmm. But that again, for everybody who's listening, comes to knowing your clients right. and, and being in the homes and seeing what people purchase. If people aren't purchasing big, thick things, why do you have them? Yeah, but I have to say it goes in a trend. Like I will have to change this stuff out to fit the next trend. Yeah. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but we'll see. Yep, exactly, and that's, that's really sharp. It's good that you're keeping an eye on that. So now let's move on to that next one okay. because that is really where you brought in your, your home style into mm -hmm. that collage. Right. So mixed surfaces, few different frames. Tell us about the design of that one. Um, so I really wanted to have a wow picture of, a wow display of where I live that's representing, so the mountains. Yeah. And I wanted black and white to make it more arty, but to mix in color. Because a lot of my clients will come in and be like, well, I've got a wall and I just want to add on to it. So this display is to say you can add color in black and white, you can add different frames, and then I wanted to show different surfaces so they could see what they like that would fit them. Yeah. So it's kind of a little... I, I, hodgepodge is a negative word, hodgepodge, but it has a bunch of different things in there and it all comes together because it has the same theme of my photography right. and the way I light. And really, if you walk up to that grouping now, you wouldn't really even know that no. the surfaces are different unless mm -hmm. you start like touching them. Yeah. Um, and the first grouping that we put there uh, was the Barn family. Which was hugely successful. Yep, and, but that was mixed surfaces too. And mi mixed framing. Mixed framing. Um, so, and we both agreed that we loved that collage, and yeah. that one right off the bat was one of your most popular yes. ones. Yes. So we're taking the same kind of idea that we did the first time around, um, but adapting it mm -hmm. to fit you, mm -hmm. which I think yeah. is really cool. Yeah. So let's move to our last one. Now, there is no difference between the one that's there today and the one that went up in 2019. Why is that? I think it's because it's really clean and really simple and very straightforward and very suggestive yeah. of how you can do this in your home. Yep. Yeah. Combination of color and black and white. It's a seven piece grouping. Um, six of the, the gallery wraps are, I think they're 12 by 18s. Mm -hmm. No frame, just a right. premium wrap with a semi-gloss laminate. Center is a 3040 uh, float frame piece. It's clean, it's beautiful, the family's awesome, and I know that you love that, or it wouldn't have survived for right. three right. years. And, and I also think, you know, when you first come in your door, that's what you see right, right away. Um, so it, it's been fun to see that that one has lasted has, the test of time. Yep, and, and it's probably not going anywhere anytime probably not. soon. Yeah. So, well, again, um, this has been so fun to just walk through the studio, to be here again. Um, and for everybody that is listening along with us today, if you do have additional questions, if you, you know, want to run something by us or by Flo, feel free to put um, your question in the comments. We always love to, to see those and to see what your takeaways are from the redesign in our discussion here today. And if you are inspired, if you want to work with White House on a studio redesign, you have ideas, you have questions, just like you know, Flo said, uh, reach out to us. You know, we're here to support you. We're here to inspire, to help you grow as a business because when you do better, we all do better. So um, thank you so much for joining with us. Thank you, Flo, for hanging with us here the last couple of days. Um, we've enjoyed it immensely. I uh, love it personally. Awesome. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. We'll talk to you soon.